Today we're going to illustrate how to design a very bouncy push button B. Our Spartan 3 board or Nexus, each one of those contain four normally low push button. When they press, it will produce high. But because it is held down by a spring, spring normally, so when you depress, the mechanical contact tend to be bouncing, so that will be producing uh, a desirable signal as shown here. Normally it's low. When you depress it for the first time, the signal bounces. And then eventually it will settle up to a high value. And then when you release the finger, it will tend to go back to the initial low value, but it will also bounce before it become it settled down to low. It was it is known that the bouncing pulse width per bounce is roughly one millisecond or higher. And there will be several of them in the beginning and several also when the push button is released. So the purpose of a button debouncer is to represent a single push like that to be a clean push that we will designate as BD to represent debounce push button. So the job is to produce a debounce signal BD shown here in boldface line, normally low, representing the B before it got pushed. When you push the button, we like to hold that low sufficient amount of time. 40 milliseconds somehow is quite popular. What we're going to do is we're going to introduce 4-bit ship register memory. We will clock the ship register using a 100 hertz clock. Therefore, each one, in the period of each one of those will be 10 milliseconds. So if we sample the status of the bouncy button B, four times, if at the end of that 40 millisecond we found the registered bid are all high, then we can safely represent that as a valid push button depression and hold that until the push button is released. This time, our ship register will be accumulating all four bit of low. So we will extend the high another 40 millisecond and then change it to, to low. So the idea of converting bouncy in the beginning and the trailing end is now represented as a clean single pulse. Because our board has an onboard very high frequency of 50 megahertz, bouncing at the leading and trailing can be interpreted, misinterpreted as changes of the value in signal B. 
So what we're going to do is slow down our 50 megahertz by 500,000 to produce a 100 hertz. We will use that 100 hertz and clock the 4-bit shift register. Each time the B is red, it will be pushed from the right-hand side of the 4-bit chip register toward the left. And another way of looking at it is by considering this block here. Here is a scaled down block, which is generated by scaling down our 50 megahertz by 500,000 to produce a 100 hertz signal. We will use that to clock our 40 millisecond delay, which is our 4-bit chip register as shown below. Where on the left side of that, we fed in the status of the detected status value of B. And if at the end of four, four times detection, the shift register are filled up with one, then we will consider a debounce signal of high. Basically, it looked like as follow. Here we have the 4-bit shift register and the required action to be taken for generating the bounce signal. If the content of the 4-bit remain zero, then B is not pushed. BD is considered low. If two detection of the push button is something like this, either bit zero, bit one is high or low, then there should not be any change for the debound signal. If bit 4 of the register is 0, regardless of the previous 3 detection, there should not be any change either on the signal BD. But at the end of 4 consecutive clocking of the register, if the 4-bit register is filled with 1, then it is safe to assume after 40 millisecond that we have a clean depression. So BD should be considered high. So, coming back to our debouncing block uh, concepts, 
It is now therefore very easy to use programming code either written in VHDL or in Verilog, even in low-level language, assembly language, we normally learn in EL262 or EE362. But it is much, much simpler to write the code in VHDL or Verilog to accomplish the push button debouncing requirement. That's all it is. Now I will stop the multimedia.